We want to thank you for purchasing Logic. This short video will show you how to install Logic and answer any questions you may have on uh, making a backup of it and so forth. Uh, the instructions are the same whether it's a new copy of Logic, whether it is um, an update from 8 to 9, or if it's one of the update subscription uh, releases. This is actually the uh, this is actually my update subscription. I just uh, got a year of updates for for myself and um, got this email. Uh, if you don't get an email back from us, uh, check in your uh, spam and trash your spam and trash and so forth. Uh, sometimes the mailers will move spam into trash, or some of the times they're separate folders. Uh, but when you find the email, you can click on this link here. That opens your default browser. I'm using Firefox. can tell it to save file. Okay, it downloaded. There it is. I could go ahead and click on that to run it. Do that. I get this alert saying that doesn't recognize Windows doesn't recognize the program. I just click on more info and tell it to run anyway. I'm not going to do that actually because I'm going to make a backup copy of that. So I click here on my download folder. Uh, that shows me the folder itself, and right there is the. Um, file I just downloaded. I right click on that, send it to the DVD drive, insert the disk, follow the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with Microsoft Edge and we'll also do Chrome. They're all very similar. Also, if your link isn't clickable in your email, you can just copy it like I'm doing here. Going to run Microsoft Edge. And it's downloading. Okay, so the download finished and I can run it. Again, I'd have to go through the rigmarole of, uh, you know, more info and run anyway. Um, but what I can do is go to Downloads. Right there it is. That's It has the one after it because that's the one that, uh, this is actually the second one we downloaded. The first one we uh, did with Firefox. Right there's the one we just downloaded. Again, we can, you know, send it to the... DVD player. Okay, and let me do this with uh, Chrome. Okay, I'm going to paste it in here. And I can see there that it's downloading. Okay, finish downloading. Um, I can open that and I'll go through the, the, is it okay to run this program, more info, that screen. Or I'll show it in folder again. And here we are. There's the one we just downloaded. Okay, so I have it downloaded now. I'm going to go ahead, uh, close out of the email. Going to go ahead and run this. This is where Logic's installed. If you're installing an update, if you're installing an update to Logic 9 or the update subscription, uh, you can just install it on top of Logic. You can also install it on top of the Logic 9 demo if you've uh, checked that out before ordering the program. Uh, do not install it on top of Logic 8. Okay, Logic 8 uh, has to be in its own folder, and you know, so you install anywhere you want to on top of another copy of Logic 9 or the Logic Demo, but not on top of Logic 8.
Okay, yeah, I want that stuff. Yes, create desktop, yes. Okay, looks good. I'm going to start installing. Okay. Let me go ahead and launch Logic 9. This was the update subscription I installed on top of a previous version of Logic 9. So all my data will be here. All the screens will still be where I left them. Um, just to verify that the help went in, that the um, update went in. Okay, I can help and about. Yeah, I have 9.1.2 license to me. Uh, date the license was issued. And our call signs. I go to help, help check for updates. And there, it tells me when my license expires. I have the latest version. I could backgrade if I wanted to, if there was suspected there was some problem with the latest version. I can go back. No guarantees that you can go back indefinitely, but. Uh, you know, as a rule, you, you you can actually go back a version or two. You can also do a reinstallation of the same version if you have um, if you have that um, experiencing some kind of problems or think some files got corrupted. You can delete the corrupted files and just reinstall the uh, you know the uh, the update again. If there were a newer version, it would say that, you know, you have another newer version available. When you run this, Logic would actually detect that and close itself. And you'd click here to install. If your subscription had expired and there were new updates that were available after your subscription expired, they would show up down here. So I'll just uh, click here, go ahead and run that. Okay, while that's doing its thing, also I can click here if I just want to keep a copy of the... Uh, last update file just for you know for my own purposes it'll save it on the desktop for you okay another thing to do especially if this is a new version of logic uh, installed on a new machine you want to go to tools tools and internet well, I don't know why it always opens on that side tools internet and import fcc callbook Okay, I got. It's just telling me that uh, it's detect, detected that Logic's already running, so I'll just uh, cancel. That's that was from this uh, this update uh, download I just did here. Okay, uh, go ahead and start the update, start the download. Even if you don't do a lot of QSLing to stateside uh, stations, especially through the mail, hardly anybody does that anymore, I guess, with Look of the World and whatnot, but it's still good to have because uh, the spot log uses that to get the location of the U.S. stations that are posting spots, so you can do things like say, well, give me only spots that are posted by someone who's located 500 miles from here. Okay, so uh, that's about it. Uh, one problem you may run into, uh, Windows XT, I mean, sorry, Windows XP, uh, you may need to go install .NET Framework 4. It's already built into 8 and 10. I know it's built into 10, pretty sure it's also in 8 as well, but uh, to get uh, the .NET Framework 4 for Windows XP, you go to install it, it's going to complain that it doesn't have it. Uh, net framework 4.0. Yeah, dot net framework 4.0 web installer is what we need. So just run that and you, it'll install dot net 4 on your machine. So we thank you very much. If you have any questions, please uh, 
visit the forum. You may find your answer there or post a topic. And, of course, you can always call or email us. Uh, we thank you very much.